So in Billy's ad for this, he promised silly haiku poems about silly people we call politicians. I got an email by Debbie Stabenow, who I don't know personally, but apparently she's a senator from Michigan. And she had this exchange with John Kill, whose name is really Kill, even though he pronounces it Kyle. It's K-Y-L, which in my vernacular is John Kill. So John Kill said to her, I don't need maternity care. She said back to him, obviously your mother did. So I thought, there's haiku in there. Here's my haiku about that. It's called Kill Haiku. Maternity care. Republicans don't want it. Their moms needed it. Another silly politician followed Obama at the UN. Apparently Gaddafi spoke so long and so insanely that his interpreter that he brought from Libya with him actually had apoplexy. It was the first case of apoplexy since the 19th century. <laughs> so in the middle of the speech, Gaddafi said, and I also wanted to demand to know who shot JFK. So I thought, what else does Gaddafi ponder? So I wrote this haiku, Gaddafi ponders, is capitalism bad? And who shot JR? Yeah. Yeah. And then on, on the NPR, they talked about the Know Nothing Party, which started in the 1840s to keep, keep those nasty Irish and German immigrants from coming to this country. So I wrote this about the Know Nothing Party. Know Nothing Party, reincarnated again out of Palin's rib. <laughs> And I've been saying this about Woody Allen for years, so I thought, this is also a haiku. Three billion women couldn't find one to marry, not his own daughter. <laughs> and the last, last month, the silliest politician of the summer was Mark Sanford. We heard on the radio that the governor of South the governor of South Carolina was off hiking on the Appalachian Trail, and Vicky and I both said, "There's going to be a woman a woman involved in this," <laughs> and sure enough, there was. They also heard that he was so cheap that in the governor's mansion he would not let his wife and kids run the air conditioner. So I thought these haiku were for Mark Sanford. Mark Sanford haiku. Bent down for a nickel. Mark missed a true Christian thrill. Two gay men kissing. <laughs> and this is about his wife. Her cheapskate husband on his Argentina tryst. Kids, turn on the air. <laughs> and for a while they were talking about running him for president, but I don't think so now. So I wrote this one. The man who mistook his mistress for a walking stick can't lead this country. <laughs> and finally, if he were if he were president instead of Obama, this is what he might do. He thought exporting his own stimulus package might somehow help us. And this is a gift for our, fam our favorite female politician in this day and age. It's called Hillary. Though not the first female Secretary of State, unlike Madeline, not a natural born Jew, some critics still claim Bill's blowjobs were your mistake, while a senator from New York forced to suck the putts of a few. History will shine brightly after a closer look your stiletto heels up more than one dictator's butt. <laughs> Unlike Laura, who circled the captions in Hubby's comic book, or Tipper, who bought labels to censor rapper smut, you outshine Martha without baking a cookie. Your next phase may start up in 2016, 
close to McCain's age, but born after the talkies. If the race falls to you and Palin between, then get ready to wake Grandpa Bill from his afternoon nap and tell him no hanky-panky this time or he'll get quite a zap.